Previously on Screen Queens, a week devoted to evil. It is all about playing the villain. Turned an already catty competition. I think that Sierra is a lost cause. My wedding day! The voice is f***ing annoying. Into a bloodbath. That felt good. I'm gonna slit your throat. I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna set you on fire. Come on! I hate you! I hate you! God! Carly turns stomachs with a truly bizarre decision. <laughs> And Sierra's awful performances. I'm not getting the power. You're the villain, not the victim. Earned her a second consecutive week in the bottom two. I don't know if we could knock these bad habits out of you. And a narrow escape from the axe. Rosanna, you get the axe. <laughs> Tonight, as the challenges get tougher. Everything you do will be digitally transferred up on the screen. It's almost like I did. I can't go there. Will Sierra prove she can remain in the competition? I'm gonna kick some ass this week. Can Carly keep it together? I'm giving my all. And how will Sarah perform with a mouthful of slimy, squirming maggots? I could start having a panic attack right now. Eight actresses remain, and only one will earn a role in Saw 3D and be named Scream Queen. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Rose god. What? It sucks row row at home because I'm already missing her. I feel like it's just gonna get harder. Leading lady Gabby did an amazing right. performance in the directing challenge. And Not being called in the ballroom this time, I'm worried. I want to be first runner up or leading lady. I want them to say something. I want them to notice me. I want them to say something good about me. So I'm going to go even an extra step this week. She was called down by herself. Well, what did they say to you? I need to work on my accent. I have like a really strong Chicago accent. I mean, I know that I need to work on it now. It's very frustrating to me because it's so hard to break from that Chicago accent. So I'm definitely going to try to just practice. Sarah, I know how hard it is to break a dialect. I can help you speak standard English, like I studied it for two years. I've had speech lessons before because I had a really big New York accent and I, I lost mine. You hear it a lot on your A sounds. Happy. Ha, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Ha, ah, yeah, ah, yeah, yeah, like you just said. No, it's not ah. Yeah. You can go ha, 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 ah, ha. ha. Yeah. yeah. No, you're going, yeah. Happy. 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 Have a. Yeah. Hold your tongue. OK. I'm feeling anxious right now. Obviously, I know that my accent is something I needed to work on. I just came to the realization that this could be the one thing that I go home for. Going into that skills test, I have a lot of pressure on me. Bottom line is, I'm gonna take everything that the judges told me, and I'm not going to let myself get put into the bottom two for the third week in a row. Good morning, Scream Queens. This week, we're gonna change things up a bit. As always, your job is to create a character that can carry a horror film. But this time, we're gonna take away one valuable tool, words. That's right, there is no dialogue for this week's skills test. Instead, you're gonna have to tell a story and deliver the emotion using just your body. I'm like, yes, you know, knowing that I have this problem with my accent, I could show myself without speaking. You'll be performing on the big screen, but this is who you'll be playing. This week's skills test is all about using a filmmaking technique called motion capture. That means everything you do will be digitally transferred to that little guy up on the screen. Oh my god, dude, this is freaking awesome. I want to be a cartoon really badly. I'd like you guys to meet Dan and Chris from the third floor, one of the world's top pre-visualization studios. And they've worked on films like James Cameron's Avatar and Tim Burton's Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> Take a good look, ladies, because that is a $100,000 suit. Whoa, I've maybe had a pair of boots that were $600, and I thought $600 was a lot, so $100,000 is like a down payment on house. So, Chris, why don't you tell us a little bit about the suit? We want to capture your skeleton and use that skeleton to drive this animated character in real time. Or your skills test will have you acting out a scene set in a creepy old man scientist attic. You'll be playing the puppet. Lightning will strike and you'll be shocked to life. 
You'll slowly gain control of your movements. Everything he's doing, the puppet's doing. This is cool. Like, who gets to do this? Like, nobody. From there, you will give life, individuality, and emotion to the character. You will have the freedom to give them whatever personality you choose. You'll end the scene by staging a dramatic escape out the open window. Whoever gives the strongest performance will win a guaranteed callback. Oh my god, I'm so gonna win this. I'm a dancer. Like, I'm the iPod girl, for God's sake. Like, this is what I do for a living. Like, a duh. Let's get our first actress suited up. So get in your starting position. This is the best acting challenge ever. Seeing how you move the suit took a lot of thought. It was unbelievable. And action. OK. With the scene, I wake up. Hey, let's look around and explore this new world. I'm imagining, what if they come upstairs and they discover that I'm alive? So it's like, go through that door and fight, or go through that window. <laughs> and cut. Ty actually seemed very confident. She kept me captivated the whole time. And action. I felt like I was locked up, and I'd never seen light before. I'd never seen anything. But I want to definitely be a little more subtle, you know? I don't really think Sarah did that well. It was too subtle almost. It really occurred to me that the motions have to be a little bit exaggerated. It needs to be just a little bit over the top so that it makes sense on the screen. So I kind of imagined that I'd been asleep for like 100 years in this attic and I was really excited to be awake and I wanted to dance. Boom, fall to the ground. I'm scared. I'm trying to deliver a story with body language. Good job. Good job. I've never done anything where I've had to act without words. So I'm looking at the screen because I want to know how it's looking and I want to make sure that I'm doing it right. Gabby spent most of the time staring at herself on the screen. It was a good example of what not to do in the suit. I'm like, oh, I discovered a window. I'm like, ding. I'm just going to throw myself out the window. Very good. Good job. Being in the bottom two, I was starting to doubt myself. And I said, no, you know what? I'm going to come back. I'm going to show them what I have. Action. I wanted to incorporate some of myself into this character because I'm very funny and goofy. My character saw like how big and scary and dark the attic was. They immediately jumped back in the box. That's what I would do. I would go back to where I know it's safe. Sierra, it's like she played her as like a big kid. She did good. And cut. That's me. Like That's the actress I am. And I'm not going to let myself slip from that. I really, like, tried to react, like, how does a kid react? So I was excited, and I did, like, a spin, you know? You, you spin around when you're happy. Kids do it all the time. I was just thinking, let me do something that's different. Good job. Good job. I thought Allison's cartwheel was really clever. It was different, stood out. OK, girls, you were asked to put on that high-tech suit and convey some serious emotion. So the actress that made us feel the most emotion without saying a word, who receives a guaranteed call back this week, is Today's exercise is about crying. I've never been able to cry on cue. It's almost like I, I can't go there. I'm freaking out. You're going to be working with some maggots. Oh, God. Oh, my Ew. God. <laughs> All of you guys did a really good job today, but I could only choose one of you to win the call back. Congratulations, Sierra. Oh, no. You, the guaranteed call back this week. <laughs> Sierra, the choice that really brought it home for me was your choice when you jumped back in the box when you were scared. 
It doesn't matter if you're an animal or a human being. To me, what we do when we're afraid is we go to where we feel safe. It's just a really good feeling because now I feel like I'm being noticed. So congratulations. Thank you so much. And Allison, you gave an excellent performance. You had amazing control over your body. But I think that your choice to cartwheel out of window didn't fit with the character. I don't buy that a doll that just learned how to move would have that kind of agility. I love that you made a bold choice. It just wasn't the best choice. When Jamie said that, it kind of pissed me off because during my performance, I was thinking that I totally rocked, so it's kind of annoying. OK, guys, head back to the house, and I will see you soon. I just like felt so good today. I just, I went on stage. I didn't feel nervous. I, I just went and did my thing. Now I'm learning how to deal with it in different ways because I've, I've always had an anxiety disorder. I really didn't want to share my anxiety with everybody because a lot of times you feel embarrassed, but I just felt like I want to help myself and I want to let people know that this is what I'm going through. My mom takes six pills to even get when outside of the house. When you have an anxiety house. disorder, what does it do? Sarah started talking to Ty about her anxiety problems. Not only do you have to work on your accent, but you have to work on your anxiety. That's a problem. I mean, I could be in the middle of a conversation with you, but my heart is beating so fast that all I hear is boom, boom, boom. I want to, like, let people know that this is what I'm going through, so if I'm having a difficult time, like, just know that I'm dealing with this issue. I don't know how hard that Can was I tell you? So we walk into homeless class very cautiously because I have no clue what I'm walking into. Guys, look, this week's all about acting without words, using your emotions and actions to tell a story. Today's exercise is about crying, and I don't mean sobbing. To be a scream queen, you have to be able to cry in response to different things, fear, sadness, joy, and you gotta cry pretty. Most importantly, the tears have to be available upon demand. Gabby, you're up first. Cry. First, you might as well get ready. Let's have a look. Let's see. I'm like, I've never been able to crack you. Come on, Sarah. It was difficult to just cry on cue. Yeah, let's see. And everyone's trying really hard. But no one is crying. I have a seat down there. Acting is doing what the character does. The character's not trying to cry. You know, trying to squeeze out one constipated little tear. It's the specificity of the situation you put yourself in that will create those tears. If you go into detail, it's not that difficult. Let me show you what I mean. OK, Sierra, come on back up here. Who's your best friend? Best friend. My best friend is my sister, Capri. That girl is my world. She's my best friend. She's my other half. In 22 minutes, she's going to get hit by a car. You're going to have just enough time to get to the hospital. When you get there, there's a card on her night table. But you can only open it after she's gone. It's time to read the card. She writes everything about you that she loves. Even the thought of anything happening to my sister Capri is beyond anything I could handle. So the waterworks definitely came very easy, and um, Homa knows how to really dig in there. Let's see. And now I'm seeing from John's class that you have to be specific when before I was being general. You have to think about a scenario to bring tears. Allison, you like babies? No. Good. You're going to have one. Most people would have taken that direction and been like, oh my gosh, I'm pregnant. I'm going to cry tears of joy. My cries were of fear. If they put 
the most beautiful baby girl in your arms and she just looked up at you and knew that you were going to be her mom for the rest of her life. That thought is f scary. Carly over there. Laugh. Look at me. Laugh. Okay. No, laugh. No, laugh. Ha ha! <laughs> Homer said, Carly, go up there. Laugh. The challenge was cry when you're up there. The challenge wasn't laugh. Keep going. <laughs> Now, you're sitting at Christmas dinner and you're telling stories about 15 years ago when everybody was alive and you're laughing your butt off and all of a sudden the table gets quiet. And you realize that those stories you're telling about are about people that aren't there anymore. <laughs> There's no sobbing. I don't want to hear a peep out of you. Who working so hard? I'm not happy. Let's see. As actresses, we got to tap into our emotions quickly. I was so pissed at myself for having a hard time with that. Your mom sent you to get something out of her room. It's your certificate of your adoption and they never told you. Homeless class was intense. I mean, everyone was crying a river. Your father abandoned you. Your husband's cheating on you. Your daughter's getting married. Why don't you sit down over there, you? When he just started going into detail, it just brought it out so much more. Gabby, baby, you want to come back up? All of the girls got another chance to cry on cue. Everybody was able to do it so quickly. Scared. About what? I don't know. I, I... Come on, come on, come on. What are you scared of? I'm worried that I'm not going to be able to get there. It's hard for me. I feel like I have a block because I had so much happen. I didn't have a father. I went to 13 different schools as a kid. I don't want to use past events to, like, drudge up emotions. It's almost like I, I can't go there. I'm freaking out about not being able to cry. Gabby, relax. I feel like John expects a lot from me. I, I don't want to let him down. Maggots tomorrow! I'm, oh. ah! I'm freaking out. It's very important that you really bring it to this next shot. My anxiety is just in full gear. If they're really going to put maggots on us, I'm not doing this. I'm freaking out about not being able to cry. It's hard for me. I feel like I have a block. I'm frustrated because I, I don't want to let him down. Gabby, relax. Look at me. When you look into my eyes, you're looking at the one man that'll never hurt you. John is kind of like a father figure, and when he put it that way, I was just really overwhelmed. I feel like I never felt loved as a child. So that's what got me to cry, like on the spot. Sam. Coma has given me something as a teacher that I've never experienced before. You guys did great, man. You did great. You did a great <laughs> job. Get out of here. Oh my gosh. John was so happy with us. And just to hear like John tell us we did good. Oh man, it felt so good. Who did the worst today in the John Holmes class right now? What happened? Gabby, for sure. <laughs> she couldn't get there. Are you kidding me? Carly did not give home a crying right away. I think Gabby did better than her. This is a competition. Why is it taking so long to get there? I know, I know. This is not a therapy session. I shouldn't have to get it out of you. This is not a therapy session. Get there or else. You know? I want this so bad. Yeah. We all do. Like, mm -hmm. see me. Hello. It's so important that I stand out. I want to be different. I want to show the judges I can do this. So I'm going to go even harder. I'm giving my all. Carly. Why are you crying? Carly. It must hurt me. Oh. No, I mean, like, I'm mad inside. Like, I'm giving my all.
Uh, oh, what is that? <laughs> it's a present. Oh, it's a present, but it doesn't really look like a present present. Are you gonna open it? <laughs> oh my God. What the hell? The box starts shaking. Oh my god! Oh my god. Yes. A wet or something. And nobody has the guts to open it, so I just like run over there and flip the lid off of it. It's just a phone, you guys. Pick it up, Sierra. Read it! Okay, I don't want freaking something to bite my hand. It says, the deadliest killers are silent. What's this? What does that mean? What, the hell what is, is in there? What the hell? The deadliest killers are silent. Um, what is it, poison? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Guys. Oh, oh, so <laughs> Mimes, clowns, anything to do with the circus is freaking scary. Debbie, take it. Debbie, take it. Debbie, take it. Thank you, Mr. Mime. Don't ever come back. Okay, read it. What is we're saying? Okay, 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 okay. No oh, scripts gosh. tonight, but lots of maggots tomorrow. <laughs> Oh. See you on set, Tim. No. Are you serious? Oh my Ew. god. Oh my god. I hate bugs. I seriously, like, I hate bugs. I'm not happy about it. I am so scared about working with maggots tomorrow. I'm freaking out. <laughs> oh, there's a maggot. Oh, uh, maggot. I'm itching. Come on. Oh, you guys like all have smiles on your faces. I mean, is that really? It's everyone's because okay with it. My anxiety is just in full gear. If they're really going to put maggots on us, I'm not doing this. Oh, my No, gosh. I'm going to have a nervous breakdown. Sarah, oh my you okay? <laughs> Meet your coast guard. <laughs> These guys are going to be everywhere. I'm feeling really scared, and I'm not sure if I could go through this challenge. It is imperative that we tear those walls down. In the time we have left, I don't know that that's possible. Welcome to the house where my buddy Rob Zombie shot Halloween. Oh my God. Perfect location for the site of your third director's challenge. I know this week is no words week, but I am going to let you speak one word. And that one word is no. no. But I think that no is a word that will come very naturally to you guys when you meet your co-stars. Oh. Let me introduce you to my little friends. No. I don't know what they're gonna have us do with the maggots, and I'm still hoping that we're not gonna have them put on us. In this scene, you come home to find your house in shambles. As you hit your marks and react, you'll be led toward the decomposing body of a loved one. Oh. Kneeling next to the body, you'll be lightly hit on the head by something. You look up to see what it is, then thousands of maggots will come raining down on you. Ah! My heart starts racing. I'm like, are you serious? <laughs> Nasty, disgusting, creepy, I'm itching. No, oh, I'm itching. I've worked with maggots on all of my movies, but this scene isn't about the maggots. This scene is about you. You got to make that word no convey confusion, anger, fear, denial, and terror throughout this scene. Your scripts are waiting upstairs. Go get into hair and makeup. We'll be waiting for you. I'm not sure if I could go through this challenge. Like, my anxiety is just in full gear. Hi. Hello, <laughs> I got top two in the skills challenge. So if I really step it up in the director's challenge, I feel like I deserve leading lady. Action. I had decided that I lived with my sister. I look to the right, and I see there's a broken vase. No. And then I walk through the kitchen, and the house is destroyed. And that's where it's like, oh my god, she had a f***ing party. No! And when I look down at the maggots on the table, that was like a switch goes off. Something else isn't right here. And then you follow the maggot trail. When I got to the door, that's when I'm seeing my sister on the floor. No. Oh. No. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, she's real close to them. <laughs> <laughs> and cut. You know, it's someone you love, so I get why you'd hug the body, but I mean, would you in real life touch a decomposing corpse? Probably not that quickly. Right. But if you could just give me like just a little hesitation before you start touching, then I think we're good. Yeah. Just let's let's do that again. Okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> Cut. Great. Stay where you are. Okay. Keep those emotions. We're getting ready for the maggots. Oh, man. Oh, my God. Look up. Give me a couple of screams reacting to the pulsating cocoon of maggots on the ceiling. Okay. Got All it. Right? Sounds good. I was seriously about to have a heart attack. But then I thought, no. I feel like a f***ing maggot like be better than me in an acting scene. Set. Action. <laughs> Oh my god. I'm feeling disgusted inside. Okay, now I'm gonna cry for real. You did great. Thank you. I think sitting there and anticipating the maggots, I think I would have done worse if I'd gone later. I'm nervous. It's so important to me to let Tim see, hello, I'm here, I'm that actress. No. <sighs> no. Cut. Carly, it's really bland. I don't feel a connection between you and any of this. After Tim's critique on me, I wanted to like step it up and make sure that they knew I can tap into these emotions and I can give you what you want. No. Oh. No. No. <laughs> Carly always confuses me. Everything seems like fake and forced with her. It doesn't feel like it's natural. <laughs> I think she's really insecure, so she was overacting. No! That was really weird. That was really that? awkward. Hold on, hold on. We'll just get it off. I think I did a good job, but you never know. Hello. Hi. How are you? Good. All right. I'll be right here. OK. No! Cut, cut, cut. Can we just start again? I don't know about touching the maggots there. Oh, don't touch them? Um, it might be good to give me a moment of curiosity. Okay. And then recoil. Okay. All right. No! 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 Great. I'm just going to keep improving, keep improving, and I hopefully the judges see that. That was really good. Cool. And this new confidence is really, 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 I feel, is going to bring me to the top. No. No. Good job. No! 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 I expected myself to stay with my head up. I didn't expect for all of them to fall inside my mouth. Ugh. No! Oh, no. Oh, no. And... 
cut. All right, all right, all right. All I see is damn maggots in the mouth, and I'm like, oh. Oh, oh. oh Jesse. They were in your mouth, right? Oh, they were in my mouth, yes. They were lying to me. Oh, oh my God. God. Oh. They, they were squashing my bra. They were squashing. They were peeing and spitting in my bra. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not doing it. I'm, I'm not thinking I can actually pull it off. I'm hoping that maybe I can block them. There's nothing to be afraid of, right? I don't even know how I can focus when all I'm thinking is maggots. Sarah suffers from a severe anxiety problem. Basically everything freaks her out and I'm hoping she doesn't allow this to interfere with her scene. I was really overwhelmed by what was going on. Oh, no. And I'm trying to show my different emotions, and I was trying to flow into them. Ugh. No! But it was like, I'm still thinking of the maggots. Oh, no! Hold on, cut. You're just going too fast. Wait for the camera guy to get in front of you. She literally just walked through everything. I really need to see you in this next take. Seeing these things as if you're seeing it for the first time, let's see you discover it. Okay. Okay? Mm-hmm. Action. Oh, no. No! 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 And cut. We have to move on. I wasn't 100% sure that we got what we needed, so it's very important that you really bring it for this next shot. All right, you can do it. If I don't do this right here, then I'll go home. But I'm feeling like I could start having a panic attack right now. All right, Sarah, this is it. She's not looking forward to this part, look at it. I may have to quit. I may have to leave right now. I may have to leave. And action. Girls, Liz is here. The following actress are summoned for judgment. You work too hard. I mean, look what you're doing right now. You got yourself bound up in a knot. All right, Sarah, this is it. This is everything. You need to hit this moment. When he said that to me, I knew that there was no way I could back out of it. I'm like, you're gonna do it. You're not gonna let your fear overcome you. You're gonna do this. And action. <laughs> I feel the maggots come on my head and I look up. No. I'm just like, don't look down, don't look down. It's this most disgusting thing in the world. I felt them come in my mouth. Oh, God. And I kept screaming, and they were coming in my mouth, and I was spitting them out, and they were coming in my mouth, and I was spitting them out, and then I just kept screaming and looking up, and then... Cut! It was all over. All right, let's get them off. Sarah was terrified. So just hold still so we can take them off. The scene, I mean, the whole acting portion was, I mean, it was bad. See you in a bit. Thank you. All right. I feel like if I could do this, I could probably do pretty much anything. Well, ladies, that's a wrap. I'm sure you're very relieved. As you know, we'll be posting the list back at the house. If your names are on the list, I'll be seeing you at the Grand Ballroom along with Jamie and John. One of those people on that list is going to be getting the ax. Take care. Bye. Bye, ladies. Girls, Liz is here. Oh, my God, dude. The following actress are summoned for judgment tonight at the stroke of midnight in the Grand Ballroom. Carly, Sierra, Allison, Sarah. What? One of you will not return. I want it more than anybody else, and this week was my week, and I deserve leading lady. And I think the judges have finally noticed it, so watch out, bitches.
You did really great this week. So did you. I really hope I'm from the top. I hope I'm leading, lady. I really try to kick ass this week, and I feel pretty darn good. Wait, Jessica, how did you think I did, honestly? Oh, God. That's good. Don't. No, I'm just... Don't, like, stress over it. You're going to find out tonight. Yeah, I'm definitely scared every time the list goes down. Because you never know what the judges are looking for. But I think I did well. I'm just feeling really anxious right now. I didn't think that they would send me home because they knew that I was getting better and working on myself. I'm improving every week. And I'm hoping that they think that it's going to be good enough. Allison, Carly, Sarah, Sierra, welcome to the Grand Ballroom. This week we asked you to show us a range of emotions without having to rely on dialogue. John, Tim and I reviewed your performances and we decided that you four were the ones that we need to speak to the most. Three of you will leave the Grand Ballroom today and get one step closer to your dream of becoming a scream queen and landing that role in Saw 3D. However, one of you will be getting the axe and will be going home for good. Sierra and Allison, please step forward. Sierra, I'm really proud of you. You really took what we said last week and you made such an incredible change. In the skills test, your decision to jump back in the box was clever and it played real. Keep looking for ways to stay grounded okay. and keep moving forward in that direction. Proud of you, pal, seriously. Keep your confidence, please. An amazing, amazing difference between last challenge and this challenge. In the director's challenge, the transition you made from puzzlement to abject terror when you discovered the body with the maggots was compelling and believable. No! No! And that's what we want to see more of. Okay. Thank you. Allison. I thought you did a fantastic job. When those maggots fell on you, you did this really cool thing where you like covered your mouth and covered your forehead. <laughs> to have maggots pouring on you and still looking beautiful and still looking terrified is no easy task. Allison, the one thing that I want to suggest to you is to keep working on being more open to constructive criticism. When I'd given you the feedback in the skills test, I wasn't sure if you were mad at me or open to it. I love that you made a bold choice, it just wasn't the right choice. Keep working on softening your expression for people. Okay. Only one lady can be leading lady this week, and that person is Sierra. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. It just feels really good. <laughs> Enjoy it, guys. You were both so incredible, and we're very, very proud of you. Please step to the side. Carly, Sarah, please step forward. Sarah, Carly, one of you is getting the axe tonight and going home. Sarah, Carly, one of you is getting the axe tonight and going home. Carly, we'd like to talk to you first. I think, Carly, you're so desperate to stand out, it's causing you to make crazy choices. Han bubble shakta! I know what that feels like. I thought that I had to do that when I first started acting because I didn't trust that I was a good enough actor to do things by just being me and being truthful and being honest. So if you can stay focused and trust yourself, you won't come off as being so over the top. Carly, one thing, you work too hard. I mean, look what you're doing right now. You got yourself bound up in a knot. I would love for you to just take it a little bit easier on yourself, okay? Okay. Sarah, I know how hard it was for you to work with those maggots. <laughs> I heard you were so anxious that you almost quit, but I didn't know how scared you were. You know, you didn't show that to me, and you hiding that fear might have been your best acting that day. But quite frankly, everything leading up to the maggots was still bad. Oh, no. 
there still was a stumbling block that kept you from focusing on the performance. Sarah, when I think about you, I'm looking for those areas where I can see you shine in a scene and I'm not really seeing that. And that requires a lot of faith in yourself. It requires the knowingness that you're beautiful and that you have something to offer and that you have that quality. And so that's something that I urge you, urge you to really work on. So, that being said, it's clear that both of you suffer from anxiety. So, which actress do we keep? The one whose fears cause her to overact, or the one whose fears keep her from acting at all? Sarah? You're safe. Carly, you will be getting the axe. Oh my god! Oh my god! God, get me straight. Get me straight. Sarah, please step to the side. Carly, please use this as an opportunity to propel yourself forward by the strengths that we told you and the blessings that you have. I thank you, and I'm sorry that I that I didn't give you what you wanted. Carly, we wish you the best of luck and goodbye. It hurts so bad. It just hurts so bad. <laughs> I was the wrong one that they sent home. Because I would have brought it. I just don't understand. I gave, I gave it up more than any of the other girls. I gave it up. I'm not going to give up on my dream. Scream Queens. The competition gets steamy as the girls take on the sexy side of horror. This week is all about sex. At a magazine photo shoot, Jamie shocks the girls with an incredible announcement. We're going to give you a makeover. And Homer teaches them the art of seduction. It's about understanding what sexy is. Oh my Jesus! Smoking hot. It's the sexiest. Scariest. I'm freaking out. I'm losing it. I'm about to cry. Cattiest screen queens ever. I don't want to discuss it with you. This isn't a modeling competition. This is an acting competition. You just want to argue. Come down, Hurricane Gabby. Seven actresses remain, but only one will have what it takes to be the next screen queen.